Hi, my name's Linda and I'm a refresh activator with Blackburn with Darlborough Council. And we're going to look at oils and spreads, which make up one section of the Eat Well Guide. And as you can see, this purple section is the smaller section uh, within the guide. So we need some fat to maintain some healthy functions. So for instance, it helps absorb fat soluble vitamins. It's also good for insulating and protecting our organs. However, we need to be mindful of not having too much fat in the diet. And saturated fat will have a negative effect um, because of the link it has with our cholesterol levels. So if you can see from what we've got here, these are some examples of types of oils and spreads. So for instance, if we're looking at our oils and we're specifically looking at unsaturated oils, we've got things like olive oil, vegetable oil, rapeseed oil, there is some flour as well. And we've got some margarines, which would go into the spreads. And different margarine products may have a slightly different balance between how much saturated and how much unsaturated fats are within uh, the marge. And looking at your ingredients list to see the balance between the two and uh, the nutritional guidelines on the packaging will help you distinguish between the different ones. Just for um, instance, when you're looking at ingredients list again, vegetable oil quite often is rapeseed oil. And there is obviously a, a difference in the packaging and how you see the writing. So looking at the ingredients list, you might just see that it is rapeseed oil. So just double check with those. As well as choosing your unsaturated um, types of fats and spreads and oils, we want to also maybe look at choosing low fat and low calorie options so that we reduce the amount of calories we're having from this food group. So if you was looking at it from a portion point of view, a portion would be around your fingertip. You could also see it as a teaspoon, as a, a way of a guide. Fats in general, do carry high levels of cholesterol if you're having them in high amounts. And if you're looking at saturated fat on a label, you'd want to keep it under five grams per 100 grams. The other thing to be mindful of is throughout the day, you might be having other levels of fats within your other food groups. So for instance, you might have, if you're having nuts and seeds, they will contain some unsaturated fats, which are good for us on our healthy choice, but we don't want to be going over our calories for the day. So be mindful of how much you're consuming in all the food groups, finding the balance. Be mindful of maybe how many fats you may be containing from this outer group as well. So this is high fats and high sugar uh, selection here, so your crisp, your chocolate, things like ice cream, biscuits, and they will contain a high level of saturated. So this is recommended that you have that section less often and in small amounts. You might also recognise that butter is not placed on the table and within this selection. That is because butter also sits on this outer section. Um, because it doesn't give you any extra nutritional value uh, than unsaturated fats will do, which would sit within here. So I hope that's been helpful. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.